for Venice, be sure to pack light. There are many, many, many steps. <laughs> I think our girls asked about 20 times why we couldn't just take a water taxi. Good morning, we are in Venice and today we are heading to the Rialto Market. And I just wanted to show you real quick. So you can follow these signs all throughout the city to the major sites and they will lead you so you don't have to worry too much about getting lost. When traveling abroad, we typically just get our foreign currency from an ATM. Uh, you just enter your language, the amount that you want, and out comes that currency. In both Venice and Rome, you can find fountains throughout the city where you can fill your water bottle. Or the dog can get a drink. Because we stayed in Italy for a month, one of our first stops in each city was the grocery store. It was fun to see what they had and shop like a local. We are here in front of the Rialto Bridge. It is Noelle's birthday today, so we are going to go see if we can find some wonderful gifts shopping at the Rialto Market. but we didn't have change. The ATM gave us a 50 euro and I don't think they're gonna have small enough change. So we had to run all the way back, find somewhere where we could buy something. And so we got some mini cannolis and uh, we are back to the Trigetto to try again. If 80 euro is a bit too pricey for a gondola ride, you can do what the locals do and take the Trigetto. It's the same boat that they use for the gondola ride but this simply crosses the Grand Canal, typically standing room only, so be sure to bring your sea legs. It's about two euro per person. There are about five or six Trigetto stands throughout the city and they can typically be found near the gondola stations. They will be marked with a Trigetto sign. Aqua Bookshop is truly unique. Books piled high in every corner, a staircase of books for your climbing pleasure, and my favorite fire exit in the world. So we just had some chiquete and wine at the Osteria Alla Beforia and it's good. <laughs> San Margarita? Yes. 
Campo de San Margarita, and they've been here 10 years, and they're usually busy, so that's good Usually time. busy? <laughs> So we were walking to St. Mark's Square and we came upon this church. We don't think dogs are allowed in churches, <laughs> just guessing. So I'm waiting outside while Chad and the girls go in and take a look around. We learned the hard way that if you're going to feed the birds in St. Mark's Square and you're not going to pay the vendor in the center, you need to distance yourself. Whatever food he has, those birds love and we just couldn't compete. But no problem, go about 50 to 100 feet away and you'll get those birds right up in your hands. down the Grand Canal is like jumping into a book on art and architecture. With buildings that date from the 13th to 18th century, it truly is an unforgettable experience. It was a tough decision, but Noelle decided, in lieu of gifts this year for her birthday, she'd take that money and treat us all to a gondola ride at sunset. It was definitely a ride to remember.
been making Venetian masks for over three decades now. When you're in the Dorsodoro district, be sure to stop in to see beautiful handcrafted Venetian masks and headpieces. And if you're feeling adventurous, why don't you take a try and paint your own? So, it's our last morning in Venice. Uh, going to our favorite pastry coffee shop, and um, we're a little bit sad. And we're going to Florence, yep. Florenza. Uh, but still, uh, we have a real soft spot for Venezia. So until next time. Pasticceria del Nono Colusi was our favorite. Every time we've stayed, well the last two times, we go here every morning, we get the muffins with the lemon sugar tops, which are so light and delicious, and we get two cappuccinos, and it is a family-run business. It's so cool because they have pictures of the family um, from years past and the daughter who you see her as a little girl sitting on the counter. Now she's a teenager, maybe almost 20 and still working in the kitchen with her parents. It's a really special spot. When in Venice, you need to stop into this company. This is the place to go and they have several locations for cannoli. Don't get it anywhere else, it's not as good. This cannoli is flaky and crunchy and coated with chocolate on the inside and has the candied orange and the ricotta cheese is so creamy. Only major, my hair or however else you pronounce it.